Hey guys, the next workout is lunges and some more squats. So let's work progressively. Let's learn the technique and the posture before we start lifting some weights, okay? Now, starting with the lunges, what I want you to do is, guys, please check your posture first of all. I want you to have a look at the front view and later on the side view. Now, feet are under hips. Feet stays under hips. Take a long step back, long step back. Lift your back heel up. Lift your chest up and engage your core and drop the back knee vertically down. All right, and lift it up. We're gonna perform 10 repetitions of this. I want you to please focus on the front view first of all. Now here if you see, the front toe and front knee are pointing forward. It's not here, it's not here, fine? They must be pointing forward. Your back heel stays lifted, chest is up. If you're leaning forward a lot, please don't do that. Lift your shoulders up. Shoulders exactly above the hips. Your front feet is on the floor, completely on the floor. Clear? The target is the front leg, quads, hamstrings and glutes. Just three more reps and two more reps. One more and here we go. Done. Cool. I'm going to perform the second side with the side view. Now bring the other leg forward. Other leg forward. Take a long step back. Lift your chest up. So what I said is do not lean forward a lot. Please lift your chest up and keep your shoulders exactly above the hips. Front knee forward, drop your back heel down, lift your back heel up. Now, if you see technically, my upper body is not moving forward or back. It's just going vertically down and vertically up. I want you to follow the same thing, all right? Vertically down and vertically up. This is what is most important. Now, the front side heel. I want you to push from the front side heel because that's connected directly to the same side glutes. And squeeze your butt muscles at the top. Two more reps. And last one, guys. And here we go. So I want you to please learn the technique and posture because later on, we're gonna lift some heavy weights. Do not make any mistakes over there. Now, second exercise. 10 repetitions of sumo squats. Have a look guys, we're gonna bring the feet wider, feet wider, toes 45 degrees, minimum 45 degrees. Knees and toes in line, chest up, bring your hands forward, drop your hips back and down, lift your chest up. For one, now keep moving and keep listening. Target muscle groups, quads, hamstrings, and your glutes. Core stays always tight. Core stays always tight, guys. I want you to again push through your heels and squeeze your butt muscles at the top. Do that. Do that for me. Give me three more reps. Give me two more reps. Just a bit more. And we are done. We are done. That's good, guys. Shake your legs now. So we spent good amount of time in learning the technique and the posture. Now keeping everything in mind, we're gonna apply everything. Lift your weights now. Now if you don't have dumbbells at the weight at your home, carry some water bottles. Yeah, we do have water bottles. One liter, one liter. If you don't have it, do you have a laptop bag? Do you carry a laptop bag? Use that. Cool, let's get started guys. Now all the techniques we know, all the posture we know, all the ranges we know. Let's get started with some weights, loaded lunges. Take a long step back, lift your back heel up, drop the back knee down. For one and two, carry on. Quick check, front toe, front knee, same line. Chest up, abs tight. Driving through the front heel, squeezing the same side butt muscles. Just two more. My body moves up and down. My body doesn't move forward and back once you find the lunges position. Remember that. Cool. We're going to switch to the other side, guys. Here we go for drop for one and two and three. Carry on. No forward back. No forward back. Mm. Front heel. Chest up. Squeeze butts. One more. 
and we go. Cool, shake your legs, guys. If you need a breather, please drop the weight, shake your arms, release upper back. Second thing, some more squats, some more squats. Now for this, option number one is to carry the weights here. Option number two, carry the weights here. First, check your position, check your position. Toes, knees, chest, abs. Let's get started. For one, how many of these guys? 10 and two. I want you to keep moving and keep listening, guys. Sumo squats is very good for your lower back. So some of the people who has lower back pain, I suggest them to do the sumo squats instead of regular squats. Now, if you observe here, I'm not leaning forward. I'm just keeping my chest up. There is no pressure on my lower back. Clear? Cool, guys. Drop the weights down. Drop the weights down. Check arms, release upper back. The last set, we're gonna add some more resistance. Some more resistance. You can't add more water in the bottles, right? <laughs> but yes, definitely you can add some more weight in your laptop bag if you carry that. Last round, guys. 10, 10 reps each. Front 20 forward, back heel lifted, chest is up. Let's drop for one. Lift chest and two and three. Carry on. Chest is up. Four and five. Driving through the front heel. And six. Squeezing the same side butt muscles. Just two more. Just one more. And done. Switch to the other side quickly. Balancing. Lifting. Dropping for one and two and three. Glutes are really working here. And four. Carry on. And two. And three more, and two, and one more. And we're done, cool guys. Anytime, it all depends how heavy you're lifting, you may need to drop the weights down. All right, let's go for the last round. Some more squat, targeting your adductors as well. Pick up the weights, anywhere is fine. Drop for one. Range of motion is completely up to you. Do not go too deep if you don't want to, guys. If you're a beginner, if you're just added exercise, no need to go too deep. Just keep your knees to 90. That's enough. Give me three. Oh, and two. Oh man, one more. And ooh, this is it. Great work, guys. Drop the weights down. Drop your weights down. Shake arms over to the next workout. Cool, great.